Some are obsessed. It's a case of me following a dream. Some are just lazy. I don't lift a finger, I never have done. Some are battling terrible demons. I just want to run, hide, crawl under a stone and die. And some are simply extraordinary. Jeanette, my partner, she actually tastes of bacon. In their own unique ways, all are high-maintenance husbands. He has manicures, pedicures, waxes his back, has waxes his chest, has his eyelashes tinted. High-maintenance husbands are everywhere. There are three of us, or maybe three parts to the marriage, which would be Stuart, myself, and obviously the psychic world. Up and down the country, wives are starting to wonder if their husband is of the high-maintenance variety. Amazingly, a third of British men say they spend more cash on their car than they do on their partner. My wife has to be very understanding. I went so far as to have this done. It takes a strong woman to live with somebody who has the obsession and passion that Chris does. What wives hate the most is their husband's hot air. At first, he used to absolutely stink. It used to make you gag. Well, it was like a, some sort of toxic gas. It was disgusting. And married couples have an astonishing 182 arguments every year. She's just such a diva and she just treats me like a slave. It's all about me. I am a lot of work. We found four men who, for very different reasons, have confessed to being high maintenance. Here are their stories, or more importantly, those of their partners. Meet Adria. Brian's idea of romance is touching me bum. She's married to Brian, the most unromantic man in Britain. Well, it don't mean out at all, romance. Jeanette. I find it so irritating. Whose partner James has a condition where he not only hears words, but tastes them as well. Blackpool, which is where I live, that tastes of a fruit pastel. Joanna. It can be quite awkward being around him. Her other half, Jimmy, is sacrificing everything to become a world-class cage fighter. You need all day. You need all day. You need to train two, three times a day. And Lisa. I don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. Whose husband, Scott, is reliving the horrors of the Iraq war 24-7. It's like Jack and Hyde. I turn into another person. First, we're off to Barnsley in Yorkshire, home to Adria Fairham, the long-suffering wife of 59-year-old Brian, perhaps the most kept man in Britain. From getting up to going to bed, she looks after me. I don't lift a finger, I never have done. Get us these remotes off windowsill, I want to turn on, see what's on the other side. Oh, yeah. Brian! Brian does nothing. I do everything. Backbone at house me. Adria and Brian have always had what can only be described as a very traditional marriage. The fine's enough to do. Well, bygone years, that's how it used to be, innit? Women used to look after men. Hey. What? Are you putting kettle on, making us a cup of... Aye, in a minute. Why, what are you doing? It's like sweeping stairs down. Well, leave it and put kettle on. Aye, in a minute. He might lift his feet up when I've, I'm over him. Eh? Correct. You Cheers could have done on. that. Right. Set in his ways, you yeah. bet your life he is. He probably does appreciate me in his own way, but he never says it in words. It can get a bit monotonous, can't it? If she's saying, oh, I love you, and all this, that, and all that, and holding her hand, and giving a kiss, and things like that. It's, it's like Namby Pamby, isn't it? It's not just Brian that Adria has to look after, she's also chief skivvy to his mates. And he's not the type to disappear down the local boozer. Canny Brian's built his very own beer garden in the backyard. <laughs> what are you piking at? I'm looking at you! Why are you stood there doing no? Get some snap on go! Kitchen's closed! Three sausage sarnies with red sauce! Oh, it's thirsty work talking, isn't it? He's taking his flipping teeth out. Oh, Let me put them in this. <laughs> Give him a drink. <laughs> 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 what more could a woman want? Well, after 39 years of marriage, he took when I'm over him. Eh? 
Correct. But as soon as the cage door closes, it be, as I said, just me, him in my vision and my corner man in my ear. It can be quite awkward being around him. I don't really know what to say and I don't want to just talk about normal things to him. I just want him to get in the frame of mind ready for his fight, really. 11-year-old daughter Rebecca and former Lance Corporal Scott. Scott is suffering from a debilitating condition that affects not just him, but his entire family life. I've got to, got to go a bit deeper and say, well, why? That tastes of a fruit pastel. My house here tastes of strawberry jam sandwiches. Jeanette, my partner, she actually tastes of bacon.